Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys. You know, I said I was gonna do my Dubai vlog, the second one, but it's, it was a pretty kind of difficult week at work. Um, just kind of seeing everything that's been going on with the virus and how it's affecting like my job and uh, the people around me. So this video is gonna be about the Omicron virus and just kind of how it has affected me as a trauma PA um, and my kind of work life, I guess you could say. All right, so let's get into it right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So uh, it, it's not really like a solemn or sad video, so I don't want it to seem like that at all. But again, like I said, it was kind of difficult at work because we are just so strapped for bodies. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to touch on that because I know a lot of people are still kind of on the fence about this virus and, um, you know, wearing masks and not wearing masks and getting vaccinated and not getting vaccinated. And, um, you know, I just want to put it out there. I'm not telling you to like get vaccinated or wear a mask or, you know, telling you not to wear a mask or not to get vaccinated. Like it's nothing like that. Obviously you're your own person. You can make your own decisions. Um, but this is just kind of what I have seen seen as a worker in the healthcare field um, and then just as an individual uh, and you know I'm just gonna kind of give you like my insight that I've noticed um, when treating like my patients that come in with COVID or come in not knowing that they had COVID um, and getting like diagnosed with COVID okay so this past week I worked um, and it was pretty interesting to say the least. Uh, we everything was like skeleton crew, and we are in like this crisis standard of care, is like what we're calling it, right? And so um, our hospital, I wouldn't say it's not as inundated with COVID as it was back in 2020, but we do have like high rise in COVID cases than we've seen um, in the past year, like in 2021, right? And so uh, there's lots of patients that come in, and I. I'm in the trauma department being that I'm attached to the emergency department but we are in our own little sector so yes you may come in as a traumatic event so a motor vehicle accident or a stabbing a gunshot wound a traumatic fall um, you know being struck I guess you could say if you were like on a bicycle or if you were a pedestrian walking like that's when you would come in and you would see me um, along with uh, my acute care surgery aspect where you know maybe you come in and you haven't had a bowel movement for like seven days and you're like super constipated and maybe you have like a small bowel obstruction or an ileus or like a perforated bowel something like that right so you're seeing me at like your dire moments right and so when you you come in um, wondering if you had COVID or, or thinking about COVID is not really on your mind. But to be in the hospital, every patient that comes into our hospital is tested for COVID if you are going to be admitted. Um, or if you're going to have surgery. So with that being said, uh, I've seen like, like it's, it's not even an, it's not even a question of if a person has COVID. Um, it's more so a question of who doesn't have COVID, right? Um, because I promise you almost every single person that I saw as a trauma or a general surgery consult had COVID. Um, and it was like, it was eerie to kind of experience and to see honestly, because that wasn't something that I had been experiencing like for over a year really and truly right like when I when you come down to it like really really in 2020 that's when I was like oh, okay like all right yeah I have to go in this room and this patient's COVID positive or you know like I'm so nervous or whatever I guess you may say because we knew so little about it that maybe this person might have COVID but now it's like without a shadow of a doubt everyone that we've seen has had COVID. Um, but the crazy thing, or I guess the good thing you could say, is that the majority of them are really asymptomatic. So I've had a couple patients that came in as traumas, and yeah, they would have a cough, um, more, almost like a, a croupy type, like that kind of like raspy, like COPD smoker-y type of, you know, like croup, cough like that deep that deep cough they would have um and 
and maybe they may have had like some body aches or something like that in the past, but typically most people have been asymptomatic, which is really, really good, I guess you could say, good and bad, right? Because they can be asymptomatic and they're riding around the streets or walking down the streets, uh, going to people's houses, going to their friends and family's houses and kind of infecting them as well. Um, and what we've noticed is that, yes, this virus is very, very, very highly communicable, more so likened to what we would say, like, in terms of, like, what you might see with, like, the flu, right? Like, everybody is kind of popping up with, with it, you know, you may have like three to five days of symptoms um, and then you start to get over it and, and it's fine, right? Like just like any other reps, re upper respiratory tract infection. So like that's kind of like how we've, we've been seeing it. But the, the problem comes or the stress or the difficulty that I've been having um, on my job is that if somebody tests positive for COVID and we go into COVID protocol for them, like they're out for a minimum of five days. Um, now the APPs, like the PAs um, and like the nurse practitioners that work with us, uh, we, we haven't really been hit that hard, but we were already strapped for, for people, right? Um, and now with some of our colleagues and our attendings, like even the docs are starting, are getting sick with COVID um, or getting infected with COVID, I should say, because not really getting sick. Um, but they go into protocol and, and they're out for, you know, a week. And with, with that, it's like now who's picking up the slack? So it's been very, very stressful. Um, our nurses are stressed. Like they're seeing, uh, you know, more than they're used to in terms of their load of patients because their colleagues are out or have quit <laughs> or, you know, or, yeah, like they're doing like travel jobs or something like that. And so like they are, they're minimal in terms of the nursing staff, minimal in terms of like your higher ups, you know, um, minimal in terms of like the APPs and the physicians. Um, but then it's maximum in terms of people that are coming to the hospital because they feel like they have COVID or some other ailment. Uh, so we are really, really strapped. So with that being said, I, I guess I'm saying all of this to say like, y'all, I'm stressed, right? Like it's been been, it's been quite the ride these past couple weeks. Um, last week, uh, you know, like my last shift more than most, like l literally I had a patient that I was doing my job and the nurse's job um, and the tech's job because, you know, there was, there was no one there to help. There was no one else. Um, and if I didn't do it, like my nurse couldn't do it because she was taking care of, you know, five other patients. Um, and we had to make sure like this patient was safe. And so ultimately, um, I just want to kind of implore you guys to please do your part, right? Do your part in terms of keeping yourself safe and keeping those around you safe. Um, and those that you may not even know, keeping them safe as well. Um, by just doing every single thing that you can do to make sure that, um, we kind of limit the spread of this virus. Now, what that may look like for you may be something different than what it looks like for me. But for me, it looks like, you know, washing my hands constantly, using hand sanitizer, wearing my N95 mask when I'm out in public, um, and obviously being vaccinated as I'm in the healthcare field. Um, for you, it may look different, but, um, you know, if it's like going into lockdown mode and you're not going out and you're not allowing people in, great. But whatever that may look like, I just ask that you guys please keep yourself safe in this new year um, and, and do what you can to keep others safe. Because uh, it's tough out there. It's rough in those streets, okay? Like, it's, it's rough. And so I want to make sure that everyone is safe um, and healthy. All right? All right. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and like this video. Go ahead right now hit that like button great and go ahead and subscribe follow me on instagram madonna pa and on instagram at get that university thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you guys next time